Sri Lanka made everyone's head turn with an exceptional performance in the recently concluded tour of Pakistan with relatively a young side minus a lot of big names. They managed to deliver a good fight in the ODI series though they lost 2-0 and in the T20I series the Dasun Shanakale T20I team defeated the world's number 1 ranked side 3-0 becoming the first ever Sri Lankan outfit to triumph over Pakistan in a T20I bilateral series. Though missing 10 recognized players, Sri Lanka were only without Kusal Pereira, Kusal Mendes, skipper Lasit Malinga and his debut in Erosion Dickwell from the previous squad who played in the T20I series versus New Zealand. In the absence of the seniors, Sri Lanka unearthed a few special players in the series who grabbed the opportunity with both hands and guided Sri Lanka to a memorable victory. Here's a look at those exceptional performances from the young Sri Lankans. Though not getting much of an opportunity in the tour, Ushu De Fernando used the chance he was provided in the third T20I to make an elegant 78. which set up a thrilling Sri Lankan victory in Lahore. After missing out on the World Cup squad despite performing well in the previous tour of South Africa, this was Fernando's shot at reminding the selectors of what he was capable of and we can safely say Oshad will cause many headaches for the selectors in the upcoming tours. <laughs> Opening the innings, Danushka Gunatilaka managed to provide Sri Lanka with a few blistering starts as his experience came in handy to tackle Pakistani seamers who normally thrive in their own conditions. Gunatilaka's century in the third ODI where he maintained a strike rate of 100 and the half century in the first T20I where he battered the opposition out of the game represent a good case for his spot as an opener in the regular Sri Lankan 11. After languishing in the domestic setup for almost 10 years, Banakur Rajapaksa was named in the national squad for the first time and he made sure the whole world took notice of the talent he possesses. His explosive half century in the second T20I where he bludgeoned the Pakistani attack into submission proved his ability as a natural six hitter who can clear the boundary with ease and an aggressive middle order batsman. As the leader of the bowling unit, Nuwan Pradeep couldn't perform well in the ODI series, but he bounced back remarkably well in the T20I series, accumulating seven wickets in just two matches. Pradeep, who bowled at the power play and death, did a terrific job restricting the opposition and made some crucial breakthroughs. Pradeep who could be regarded as the most improved bowler of Sri Lanka in the recent times dismissed the dangerous Babar Azam 3 out of 4 times during this tour. Wanidu Hasaranga was named the player of the T20I series for his brilliant display of wrist spin where he baffled the Pakistani batting unit on his way to 8 wickets. a record for most wickets by a Sri Lankan in a three-match T20I series. Hasaranga provided Sri Lanka with the X factor in the middle overs where Sri Lanka have struggled in previous matches and his acrobatics in the field itself deserves separate appreciation. With Akhil Dhananjay being banned from bowling for one year, Wanid Hasaranga's emergence as a wicket-taking option will surely lend Sri Lankan selection committee a few calming breaths. Hasaranga is easily the find of the tour and deserves maximum praise for his all-round performance. Do not rewarded in the wicket column as he deserved. Kasun Rajitha bowled brilliantly in the absence of Lasit Malinga to provide Sri Lanka with a good start in the power play. The Pakistan batsman could only find four boundaries in Rajitha's 12 overs showing how well Rajitha bowled on the Gaddafi pitch. Shehan Jaisuria started the series with a bang when he almost carried Sri Lanka to an improbable victory in the second ODI 
finally delivering on the international stage after bulldozing runs in the domestic setup for several years. Jai Surya showed his class especially when the team was in trouble and proved his worth to the selectors as a genuine batsman who can bowl a bit of off-spin. This tour can be identified as the making of Dasun Shanaka as he led this young team in the field like a true leader and contributed with some crucial knocks. In the ODIs, Shanaka showcased his maturity with a composed knock when he put up a record partnership for the sixth wicket with Shehan Jayasurya, chasing a target of 300 plus in the second ODI. Shanaka then showcased the other side to his batting as he launched into fifth gear in the last ODI. His smart thinking and use of the bowlers in critical times were instrumental in Sri Lanka's T20I series victory too. Apart from the above-mentioned players, Sri Lanka will take a lot of heart from the performances by youngsters such as Minod Banuka, who played with freedom in his debut tour. The fielding was top-notch from the Islanders, which clearly separated them from the host. There have been little negatives from this tour, but one of the most concerning issues would be Sri Lanka's bowling in ODIs. They conceded 300 plus in both ODIs, which ultimately led to their demise in the series. Overall, the Pakistan tour has been one of the best performances by Sri Lanka this year, second only to their heroics in South Africa. With the addition of the regulars like Lasit Malinga and Kusal Janit, this bunch will only go from strength to strength as the World Cup in Australia looms in just a year's time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our latest content.